hey guys welcome back today i'm going to enable google analytics in my websites so i have actually you know um, logged into my google analytics account i'm not sure when when did i created this the engineer account but we can create a new one or we can use the same existing one also that's not a problem that's not a big deal actually you just have to create account so let me go through the you know the process again just for this you know session so let's create an account i'll call it interview dose okay remove this interview dose dot yeah dot com from there but account can contain tracking id accounts can or can contain yeah this is just a account name i believe so we should not be too much worry about uh what should be the name let's go ahead do next create a google analytics 4 property to measure your wave or app data looks like google has released a new analytics platform or analytics you know version 4 so that that's why it shows google analytics 4 property but i think it doesn't matter okay so let's go ahead and you know create the property name i will call the property name to be interviewrules.com for now and then go next business information okay uh, business information why do you need business information man i don't know other science real estate education do you have something like jobs and education yeah this is okay small business size i don't know why do they need business information let's create this okay but anyway i have selected one to ten employee then create okay, google analytics yeah i also accept I accept the measurement control and I accept good we have a category now this is good and okay choose a platform Android app web iOS this is not right actually I was expecting something where I should be able to track the analytics for mobile as well as wave let's say wave for now okay let's set up the wave first and the website URL is interviewtoes.com, right? Okay. Now page view, scroll, outbound, so all, okay. Interviews.com, interviewdose.com. This is okay. Now, and stream name. This is website URL, and this is stream name. Also, I'll put it interviewdose.com. Create the stream. Okay, now done this is good configure your website with one of the following method to have data flow into the stream so we need to do this use existing on page tag select the product that controls your existing on page tag how do i i don't know add new on page tag okay fine so we will do this okay google tag manager add a add and maintain tags through web interface to send data to Google Analytics as well as other. We have to add this information to our index.html, so let's do that, okay? So it says we have to update this information to the index.html, okay? So let's do that. This is very important thing, so let's do that. What will I do now? I will open the index.html. So list index.html and it says copy and paste this code as the first item into the head of every web page you want to measure okay so uh, i right now i have only index.html as an experienced engineer i would like to mention one thing here whenever we do like if you see this you know g tag it is asking us to update all your html file with this particular this script header right so assume you have a lot of you know html file in that case you have to go and update this particular script everywhere which is not a good idea right but if you have followed the modern web techniques okay modern web development techniques for example single page applications like in react or uh, angular we usually have only one page the framework gives you the ability to update the you know um, 
uh, update the same page with different data okay i would highly recommend you to use single page web application development techniques so that you have to use only one place here for example this uh, you have to update this script only in one page the index.html that's it okay so that's what i will be doing go and update the page with the script okay CD. Updated this now. Git add uh, enabled analytics. Okay, master. So I have updated my Git project and I'll pull that. Pro yeah, it has the it has the G tag, which is good. So let's see if this analytics now working. No data received, it says. I'll just refresh this. It should have received some data. Home, I'll go home. Real time. Yeah, so there is a session. I can see that. Good. Okay, seems this is working. One user per minute, one user in last 30 minutes, which is good. And it, it is from a desktop and it is near Boston. Yes, of course okay page view 2 this is good all good okay so this is working nice first visit page view session start so everything is working so it was pretty simple just to recap what I did okay I am not able to understand what is this home is showing right now but the real-time data seems to be correct yeah just to recap what I did I created a account first okay and then I created a property and then I copied that JTAG okay into my index.html that's it i will be updating a lot of things in interviewdoze.com which i will be publishing here so yeah stay tuned and uh, see you next time yeah thanks for watching